Eduardo wants to plan production based on customer demand. He wants to run a regenerative MPS MRP plan in the system to generate supply orders for the production of bicycles. Eduardo opens the planning worksheet window. In the planning worksheet, Eduardo can do the following. Calculate regenerative plan. Make the program calculate a replenishment plan for all items. Calculate net change plan. Make the program calculate a replenishment plan for only those items that have had a direct change in the demand requirements for the item, or a change in the standard data and or planned item supply. Get action messages. Generate and display action messages for a selected item in the planning worksheet. Carry out action message. Make the program carry out or perform the action message or messages that are proposed for the selected lines in the planning worksheet window. Refresh planning line. Refresh the bill of materials and the routing whenever he has made changes to the components or routings of the selected planning lines. Reserve. Make a manual reservation for the sales line. Eduardo uses the Calculate Regenerative Plan function to plan supply orders for the production of the bicycles that Cronus International produces. The Calculate Plan Batch Job investigates the demand and supply situation of the item and calculates the projected available balance, states the net requirements for the item, and creates an item replenishment plan to fulfill the net requirements. You can have the program calculate either a master production schedule based on independent demand, a materials requirements plan based on dependent demand, or a combined MPS MRP. Eduardo wants to see the different options available in the action message field. These are the possible suggestions for specific user actions in order to rebalance the current demand and supply situation, including creating a new order, changing the quantity on an existing order, modifying the due date on an existing order, rescheduling and changing the quantity, or canceling the order. Eduardo wants to see all the planned components for the bicycle. Eduardo also wants to see the planned routing for the bicycles. Eduardo is aware that the company's factory is currently understaffed, as a lot of workers are in training. He therefore decides to purchase the wheels from vendor number 20000. To help him with this purchase process, Eduardo customizes his view of the planning worksheet. He adds the replenishment system column. Eduardo also adds the vendor number column. Eduardo changes the replenishment system for items number 1100 and 1200 and adds vendor number 20000 to both items. Next, Eduardo carries out the proposed action messages. 
the program carries out the proposed action and changes the existing replenishment accordingly. A purchase order and a production order are created automatically. Supply planning within the manufacturing functionality enables the coordination of make-to-order requests and simplifies the implementation of make-or-buy decisions. You can plan supply orders manually using the order planning feature or automatically using the planning worksheet feature. Eduardo has received a second call from Selangorian Limited, which now wants to reduce the quantity of the original sales order. He wants to track the planned supply orders for the sales order before modifying the quantity. Eduardo tracks the planned supply orders for the sales order he created earlier for the customer. He opens the sales order window. Eduardo verifies that a firm planned production order has been created for the sales order. Eduardo verifies the dates when the production of the bicycle is planned to start and end. The order tracking feature within the manufacturing functionality allows you to track the connection of a supply to its corresponding demand. You can track from either a purchase order or a production order to find the sales order that causes the demand. And you can track from a sales order to find the purchase or production order that supplies the demand. Eduardo has tracked the planned supply orders for the customer sales order and now wants to modify the sales order due to a change in demand. He first reopens the released sales order. Eduardo changes the order quantity to 115 instead of 120 and releases the sales order again. Eduardo opens the planning worksheet window to run a regenerative MPS MRP plan again in order to change the planning of supply orders if necessary. Eduardo applies the same parameters as earlier to run the calculate plan batch job again. Eduardo verifies that the quantity has been changed on the production order for the bicycles. Then, Eduardo runs the carry out action message batch job to perform the planning changes. Having planned the supply orders for the bicycles, Eduardo opens the firm planned production order for the bicycles to change the order status to released. Eduardo changes the production order status to released. The planning worksheet feature within the manufacturing functionality can be used to modify an already planned sales order. It allows you to carry out new action messages for the released modified orders. On a planned order, you can, for example, change the quantity shipment date or specific production order components. We have seen Eduardo go through his daily tasks, taking action where needed, and making decisions pertaining to his role. The manufacturing functionality is easy to use and can be customized to meet specific business needs. It can be fully integrated with other areas of Microsoft Dynamics NAB 2009. With the manufacturing functionality, it is easy to set up and handle items, manage capacities. It saves the company's time and enables it to handle the planning and execution of demand when going through normal manufacturing business processes. For more information, please contact your Microsoft representative.